everyone. Today we are going to be doing Venus and Apollo's tail. We're going to be painting them pink and teal blue. And if you think this sounds a little bit crazy, it is. But we have a story to tell you on why are we doing this. The story started two weeks ago with a knock on the door and a ring in the doorbell like a hundred times at six o'clock in the morning. One of our neighbors, she was knocking and when I look in the camera and I see is my neighbor lady, I thought maybe her car didn't turn on or something around those lines. So I go and open the door and she tells me, come fast, come fast, your two dogs are outside herding a cat. And I'm like, it's not my dogs. I open the door a little bit more and I show her the Vino San Apolo are home with me. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I really thought it was your dogs. It, there's two huskies outside and they are herding a cat. And I'm like, I don't, they're not huskies, but I know a lot of people mistake them, but thank you anyway. And I actually went with her to the street to see if I could find the huskies or the owners. Fast forwarding to this week, we saw in our main entrance, there was a lot of dirt like dig out from my plants. And I was like, well, that's very weird. And we decided to check the cameras and we saw that there was two huskies in front of our door and they were hanging there for like 30 minutes. Shrek is back. <laughs> and after that, we went outside and sadly we found a dead cat right in front of our house. So we checked our other cameras and we saw the huskies, they were chasing the cat for a while. It looked like they were playing with him and sadly they killed the cat. And my husband, he picked up the dead cat, tossed it away and that was it. But then we started talking to the neighbors and we found out a lot of the neighbors thought it was my dogs who were doing this. And like two streets down from where we live, there's a neighbor that she loves to make comments. <laughs> And I think she's part of the HOA where we live and she told our other neighbor I think those two huskies there around there killing cats is from that young couple that walk really late at night and we are that couple they walk really really late at night so I don't want people confusing Venus and Apollo with two huskies they are killing cats in an HOA especially the, the HOA have the power to kick you out of your own house, even if you own it. So to avoid any further confusion, for this summer, Venus and Apollo are gonna have pink and blue tails while we figure out who is the real owner of the two Huskies. So I went on Instagram and I asked you guys, which hair dye you best recommend for dyeing Venus and Apollo's tail? and a lot of you recommend Old Pass. So I ordered it on Amazon and today we're gonna be painting their tails. If you're interested to see how it came out, keep on watching. Here is the Old Pass. They're a lot smaller than what I was expecting. I thought the bottles were gonna be a little bigger. This one is for Apollo in Hawaiian blue. Old Pass is a semi-permanent non-toxic color for pets and it could last 6 to 12 washes depending on the type of coat of your dog. It's food grade coloring and contains no ammonia or peroxide. And for Venus we are using shocking pink. They have a lot of colors to choose but I wanted to go with a safe colors and I got two bottles of each one for Venus and Apollo's tail. I'm also going to be using gloves because I don't know how bad they stain in case they stain my hands. I don't want to be walking around with pink and blue hands. I'm going to start with the pink one for Venus and it has 5.3 ounces. So I don't know how much I'm going to need. Her tail is very, very fluffy, a lot fluffier than Apollo's. So I don't know. I'm going to use only one bottle first. And if I need more, then I will add more. Look how beautiful the color it is. It looks so vibrant. I hope it gets like that on her tail. The 
the texture is very different of what you expect from a hair dye um, comparing it to the one I will use on myself that is more like liquidy this one is more like an, a strawberry jam kind of texture I don't know if you can tell how it feels like a little bit like glumpy One of the persons that responded to us on Instagram, the four logos, they told us that they put a plastic bag around the tail to avoid so much mess. So we are going to be doing something similar. I'm not quite sure if this is exactly how she put the bag, but this is my interpretation of her bag method. One person told me to use a brush and another one said that it was better with the hands. Because Venus have so much hair, I think it will be probably better with the hands. So I'm doing it with the hands. I'm not sure of the power of stain of this dye. So I put a tarp on the floor. It's a cheap part from Home Depot. Those that they sell for painters. I don't want the concrete all pink. Even though our floors are desperate need of a pressure washing. I don't know if the pressure washer would take it off. So just in case I put a tarp. To cover the concrete while the dye is non-toxic and is food grade coloring i don't know if she will be allergic to any of the ingredients so i left around two inches from the top of her tail i didn't want to take it too close to her butthole so i left it hanging like two inches just to make sure any part of the dye got in contact with her butt when she's just in the bathroom or anything her tail is so thick every time i open it i still see white inside so i already have to open the second bottle and add some of the dye so definitely if you have a dog that is as fluffy as venus just to be safe at least buy two to three bottles Now we have to wait 20 minutes and I'm going to be holding her tail for the 20 minutes. I don't want her to get a wild ideas and start running and putting dye everywhere and I don't want her to get stained. I don't want her pink everywhere so I'm gonna be keep holding her tail while we rinse the most of the stain out. The instructions say to keep washing it until the water comes completely clear. So we're gonna wash as much as possible just with water first and then we're gonna use shampoo and we are actually going to bathe her completely. Venus loves water so much. A lot of time when we bathe her, she gets crazy zoomies like this and it's so super cute. Putting the dye to go like 20 to 25 minutes. Then we have to wait for another 20 minutes and bathing her and drying her to go an hour. So we're kind of tired. We're gonna blow away all her hair to leave it clean and then in the afternoon we will do a polo because I'm too tired and it's getting too warm to do a polo in the midday so I'll see you in the afternoon to do a polo sale now it's Apollo's turn obviously I'm not gonna show you the whole process because you already saw it with Venus and then you will get bored but I wanted to mention the Apollo's dye. It was a lot more watery than Venus. Also, we damped Apollo's tail while we waited for being a little bit cooler. We saw some people do it with the tail damp and it seemed to do good results. So I wanted to see the difference. And to be honest, they pretty much came out the same. Apollo's color doesn't seem as 
vibrant as Venus, but also his color was a lot more pastel. I got dye on my feet both times, the pink one and the blue one. And let me tell you, it came out super fast when I showered. I didn't have trouble taking it off. So I think it doesn't stain very much, at least on the skin. And in the concrete, there was a few drops and also it cleaned up pretty fast. sure he's extra extra dry after we dry him we put two fans for him and look how cute their tails came out i love them they look adorable and hopefully the neighbors will not confuse them again <laughs> 